Okay, one more addition to Viper Frank's video on cleaning and uh, recalibrating the tone arm height adjustment is uh, when you start re-threading this, uh, you can actually restart re-threading it in different spots. Um, it looks like the spots normally start in the notches between the numbers. Um, and so if you start between uh, three and four, two and three, you'll get it in different spots. I think the way to start threading it is between the one and the two, the notch between the one and the two, then start turning it. I'm gonna set the phone down and do that. And then I'll show you that it should line up in the proper spot. If you don't do that, it's not that the arm, well actually, yeah, it won't work at all. It won't, uh, you won't be able to reset everything properly and it's gonna just be way off. So I've threaded it just like I said, between the one and the two. And now you'll see the notch, uh, if I can get the focus good, um, we'll stop at zero right there. Uh, part of the reason this threw me off is because you can see there's a, there's a little bit of height still, even though it's at zero, and it does go a little bit past. But uh, I'm at least with the MK2 that I have, I think it's different with different models because I was looking at videos. Um, but with the SL1200 MK2, which is what I have, the, uh, the height adjustment does not go as low as uh, other models perhaps. Uh, this is annoying for me because that means I'm going to have to get uh, a thicker platter. I'm going to have to put either two platters or get a thicker mat. I'm sorry, a thicker mat, um, which is a little frustrating. I'm not happy about that, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I've, I've really jimmied with this a lot, and there's no uh, better way to do it than how I just did it. So um, keep that in mind.